Okay, people can still walk in and we're going to get started here, so not too late. So, good morning. Welcome to the uh, sixth annual uh, Timmy Symposium. Uh, I'm Zahi Fayyad, um, head of the Imaging Institute here. Just going to do a brief introduction uh, just to set the stage a little bit before we introduce um, uh, our dean and also our speakers. Uh, so this is our sixth annual uh, symposium. You have probably received a copy of the book of your requested a PDF uh, a copy. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me or Chris. We can provide the information to you. So we're very pleased with the, uh, with the final product. Uh, just a little bit of numbers, not that it, it really matters in a way, but it's always important to have some metrics in terms of how is this uh, symposium doing. So if you look at um, 2015, we've had uh, 244 total people registered, 187 pre-registered. We have uh, 25 organizations or, or groups from outside Mount Sinai that participated. Uh, within the Sinai community, 22 departments, centers of institute uh, contributed to about uh, 50 abstracts uh, from last year. Uh, this year, uh, we have, uh, I guess from yesterday or the day before, 239 pre-registered. We'll get the numbers um, when they come in, maybe at the end of the day. We have 30 uh, groups from outside the Mount Sinai community, 25 departments. And now we include the whole health system, so we have good contribution also for, from the sister hospitals, uh, from the system itself, and about uh, 51 abstract or so. And I've got many emails from people apologizing, maybe not submitting on time, et cetera. It's a busy time of the year, especially for the MRI community. There are a lot of conferences coming in that competing, but we're still very pleased. I think the important thing is we have a good participation from the trainees and the junior um, uh, faculty and, and, and from, from all different places. So I think this is a great day for you uh, to showcase your work, to interact uh, with, with, with our invited speakers, uh, and to get some ideas and maybe come up with collaborations. Not expecting you to be writing grants maybe after, but maybe, you never know. <laughs> Um, in terms of the institute itself, so, you know, we have been uh, created, uh, you know, and I think Dean Charney we mentioned this uh, from the past, um, a strategic plan that was initiated a few years ago, 2009-2010. We moved to the beautiful Hess facility that has been an incredible impact, I, I believe, on everybody's research uh, and, and, and work uh, in 2013. Uh, there's a whole variety of, uh, of, of resources and equipment available uh, for all the users without any discrimination. We support uh, everybody from A to Z, from preclinical imaging to clinical research. We collaborate also very closely with the Department of Radiology who helps support also some of the resources uh, that, that we have. And, and we have brochures and on the website we have a full description what we, you know, what, what we provide. Uh, there are now about uh, 13 core faculty members affiliated uh, with Timmy, and I will present them soon, and about, you know, 30, 50 plus people, you know, supporting the institute, uh, again, in a, in a, in a nice um, um, uh, facility here within, within this building. We've also worked very closely uh, with the BIC, which is the Brain uh, Imaging Center led by Rita Goldstein. Uh, Rita really provides a great bridge between Timmy, which is the Imaging Institute, but also obviously with a very important uh, activity, which is the Friedman Brain Institute that, co that puts together all, everybody's interested in the brain from neuroscience, neurology, neurosurgery, et cetera. So it's a great collaboration, and I think we've seen the fruits of that uh, very well. It fits very well with our mission and also with the mission of the school in terms, in terms of translating uh, work in brain research. I'd also like to announce you know, and congratulate Rita for putting together the ABCD the Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Grant. She's participating in that, as well as many other people, including Bruce Fischel, et cetera. And this is a great study that is, I think, is going to pave the way in the future in terms of collecting data on children and adolescents and trying to understand how, they, how their development and, and, and their disease or their health evolves over time. Uh, in terms of the faculty members, and also a lot of our faculty members have different affiliation with different departments, uh, but I'm just citing here in terms of what they do. So we're very pleased that we have a growing, uh, dynamic uh, uh, faculty members. Uh, they're all doing very well or on their way to do brilliant things. Uh, and we have also new appointments uh, such as uh, Lazar Fleischer and Phil Robson also that joined, they're joining us. They trained here at Mount Sinai and now they're becoming junior faculty member and they have been incredibly helpful 
in, in the different programs. Um, Bazaar works very closely with Rita uh, and the big program, and as well as Phil Robson has been working with my group, making great contribution that you will hear about here in PetMR. Uh, I'm also very pleased uh, to be well surrounded. And I cannot do actually a lot of this work, uh, and I cannot focus on my own research if I don't have the help uh, of this great uh, uh, leadership team. Uh, Chris Canestrazi, who who's in the back, who has been really helping put together this program and helping lead the operation of the institute, as well as the other people who you see in the hallways uh, here, and you, some of you, some of some of them are very familiar to you. So I'm very grateful uh, to be well surrounded here. Also wanted to share with you some of the things that we have been producing, not only in imaging medical research, but, but obviously imaging is a very visual art, uh, if you will. Uh, and, and, and some of the students and trainees have been putting or transforming their, their images or their experiment into art recently. We participated actually in the FBI uh, art exhibit, uh, and I'll show some of them. And we're trying to gather some sponsorships, so anybody here in industry who's willing to help us sponsor the first uh, Timmy art exhibit, uh, you'll be very pleased with the output. These are some of the examples, and I'm happy to share more if, if people uh, ask me. Uh, you may recognize some of these structures in the brain. This is a beautiful one. I think uh, this one Chuck produced and I believe was exhibited in FBI and got a lot of attention. And some of them also have won some awards. Uh, and then we continue uh, to produce uh, these things. This is very ple ple pleasant you know, to, pr to do this. So um, a lot of people, again, have been helping put together this program. Some of them are mentioned here, and I really want to thank you, and we'll thank you again at the end of the day. We also want to thank um, our sponsors and contributors. So this is not a necessity, but we like to collab we obviously collaborate with industry, and if they are willing to support us, also not only in kind, but also in money, we apply for these grants. Uh, we follow the, the guidelines and the rules, so there's no conflict of interest here. Uh, but we want to thank Bristol Myers Quibb uh, for being a gold uh, sponsor. We want the silver um, uh, sponsors were EOS Imaging, uh, Nelco Worldwide, SA Instrument, and Siemens. And I want to challenge maybe Siemens to come up maybe to the platinum level uh, next year, I hope. Uh, I, I know this is not a reflection of how much you love us and we love you, but, uh, but we would like to be loved a little bit more. Um, uh, so this way we can, you can help us uh, with, our, with our maybe Timmy Art um, uh, exhibit and activities. And also we want to, again, thank Inotria. This is the wine uh, company that we have been uh, uh, collaborating with, uh, drinking a lot of their wine. Uh, but, you know, they donate the wine to the reception, etc. And Visual Sonics, um, Fujifilm uh, for their support also. We will be active on social media. So if you see me on the phone, I'm not actually texting a friend or, or I'm actually... I'm going to try to tweet uh, and, and, and put things on Instagram, as well as Chris will take pictures, etc. This is fun. So if you want to contribute, hashtag Timmy2016, so this way we can look at them together. We also, um, we are now in the midst, Dr. Dean Charney will mention this, we're in the midst of putting together our next strategic plan. We have been working very hard. We took input from everybody in the institution here. A lot of you contributed wonderful ideas and themes. But also I would like to tie this up maybe to next year's um, uh, symposium. So I'd like to take suggestions from you on, on, on these themes that we feel are gonna be important for us as we move forward. Image guided therapeutics, so if you have any key speakers, a key work that we should feature, let us know. Immunomodulation of disease uh, in terms of helping imaging and targeted therapy, we like to hear about that. And, and a little bit on machine intelligence or whatever you want to call that in terms of using informatics to help in imaging research. So I hope to be able to get some speakers. Um, this way, you know, it helps stimulate our ideas and, and how we look at, at, at things. So you're going to see uh, the program. Uh, it's in your, in your phone, in your, in your digital computer or, or, or on, on paper. Uh, so we have a, you know, the structure is the same as in the past. We have a keynote uh, speaker, um, and then we have several other sessions that are all running um, uh, from neuroimaging with an outside speaker and a selected uh, uh, abstract uh, from uh, our trainees. So this is the one that got the best, uh, best uh, uh, award or the best uh, score. So this way we feature you know, what goes on uh, with the people who are coming in participating. And you'll notice also that we don't only take people from inside, uh, we actually have um, uh, from NHLBI a contribution um, uh, and that, that has that received the pre-great um, abstract that will be presented from outside. So we have done this in the past and we will 
continue um, uh, to, do, to do this. So this is a picture that we took in December 2015 of the group, and you will see them. They all have a great smiley face and helpful um, to everybody. Okay, so now, uh, without uh, further ado, always great uh, to have Dean Charney. Dean Charney actually have participated to all our meetings, and we really thank him uh, for being part of this. He has been obviously a supporter of the Institute and help in helping us push things forward. Dean Charney um, is, is our Dean of, of the Health of, of, the, of the Medical School and, and President of the Academic Affairs for the Mount Sinai Health System. He is um, an incredible um, a PI with a great contribution uh, to, the, to the field of um, mood and anxiety, uh, and fear, anxiety, depression. And he's learned a lot from him about resilience. He has actually an excellent book. You have a second edition coming up soon, right, which I really advise all of you uh, to read, but also to buy maybe. Maybe you get some royalties, which is good. Uh, he has 600 plus <laughs> uh, publications um, in, in the field and has a massive uh, H index that we all look, for, look at uh, very jealously. Uh, hopefully we'll reach that level one of these days. But really, I think the main aspect is that he has driven Mount Sinai to be one of the premier institutions um, um, in the United States. It is top 15 now, ranked in the NIH. He has put together really a culture of innovation. He has really uh, f uh, um, uh, f uh, pushed, uh, pushed uh, the institution with a lot of faculty recruitment, a lot of innovative ideas out of the box that ended up being incredibly spot on. And I think this is a great, uh, great to work with somebody who has that vision that can predict you know, where research will be going and where research will be contributing. So his vision has been well, very well supported by the, the strategic plan that, that was, was a couple of years ago, $2.25 billion. And it was a great initiative from the educational point of view, but also ideas and collaboration with other institutions such as RPI, Google, IBM, and Apple. So it has been really uh, great uh, to work with him and to learn uh, from him. So welcome, uh, Dean Charney. Thank you. Um, so time flies. Uh, this is the sixth uh, you know, inaugural symposium. It seems like just yesterday when Zahi was putting it together. I want to congratulate Zahi for you know, great leadership, uh, but also Bashir and Rita and, and Bert and, uh, and others in, in creating uh, from scratch you know, an institute that is now in, in many areas uh, a leader in imaging throughout the country and throughout the world. Uh, but we can't be satisfied. So as, as Zahi mentioned, we, we, had a, we had a strategic planning process back in 2008 um, and 2009 uh, where we, we involved 120 of our faculty to come up with ideas on where Mount Sinai should be uh, headed. And among the things that we did was establish research institutes uh, with the Imaging Institute being one of the, the inaugural uh, 13. And that turned out to work. You know, those, the 13 institutes have done very well. We've recruited top uh, leadership and scientists. Uh, since the original 13, we've added another 10 or so more. Uh, since we took over the continuum health system, we're now establishing clinical multidisciplinary institutes as well. And uh, the numbers suggest that that strategic plan, uh, you know, worked well. One, it was the basis of our capital campaign that ran from 2009 to 2013, where our goal was to raise a billion dollars, and we raised a billion and a half. So it, it worked. Uh, we built this building. Uh, we thought it would take four to five years to uh, b fill the building. It took about uh, half that time. So now every day I'm hearing from a scientist or a, uh, a clinician that we need to build another building. Uh, and we. We do, uh, and we do own land uh, one block north of, of where we are, so we, uh, we have a site for it, uh, but we're going to need to raise money to, to build the building. So we felt that, you know, based on the success of, of the plan that we developed eight years ago uh, and the fundraising that ensued from it, it was now time for another uh, plan. And when you look at the strategic plan that we developed back then, we took some risks, and in fact, a an outstanding plan doesn't just build on what's obvious. It, you think through, well, what might be um, the science uh, or the, the clinical uh, footprint that is going to happen over the next five 
or 10 years. You, you, ha you need a crystal ball to really have a good a plan. You need to think, you know, out of the box. You know, the quote that everybody uses is, is the Wayne Gretzky quote. For those of you who remember, he's the greatest hockey player of all time. And he wasn't big, and he wasn't fast, and he wasn't strong. And so he was asked, how did you become the best ever? And he said he knew where the puck was going to be. So we need to know where science is going to be uh, to develop an, an outstanding strategic plan uh, going forward. So we, we are in the midst of another strategic planning process for the school <laughs> this year. Uh, we've established 35 work teams of our faculty uh, across the institution. And correspondingly, and this we didn't do last time, we're bringing in 35 external advisory uh, board members who are experts in those areas uh, to uh, advise us, to look at what we've come up with and see if, you know, we're missing something, to see if we're being uh, bold enough uh, moving uh, forward. Uh, the, the plans are supposed to be submitted uh, to my office by the end of June, and then I'm going to establish a priority setting committee uh, to help develop the plan further, which will then be the basis of another capital campaign starting uh, next year. Everybody's raised their hand to be on the priority setting committee. And I've said, uh, the better job you do in developing the plan, the more likely you will get on that uh, committee. So I've incentivized everybody. Those of you in this room who are part of our faculty, no matter what, uh, you know, no matter how junior you are, we want you to be thinking out of the box and to communicate, um, in the case of imaging, to Zahi, what your ideas are you know, m moving forward. What do we need to invest in uh, to n not only uh, continue the progress we've made in an incremental way, but we want to, uh, you know, move it even at a faster pace. And the mission that Zahi has set for the Institute, you know, really is right on, that we want imaging to be the basis of, of research that ultimately enables us to better diagnose and to discover new treatments for the patients uh, who need it uh, most. Google recently has completed a research project on what are the factors that lead to uh, Google Teams being successful or not. I don't know if any of you have seen this in the last uh, week or so. And it was called Project Aristotle. And uh, they had a group of investigators that looked at all the Google Teams and were looking uh, for what characteristics of a Google Team pr uh, predicted uh, success and innovation and entrepreneurship. And among the things they found, and if you, if you Google Project Aristotle, you'll see the results, but among the things they found is that within the teams, it was important to have psychological safety. Now, what that means is that when you're sitting in a room with a range of uh, uh, individuals from very senior to very junior, it's not good if the junior people are afraid to throw out new ideas, afraid that uh, the idea might be stupid, um, and it might be, you know, uh, frowned upon, and so forth. And, and we want to have an environment where every level of scientist, every uh, student, feels free to express innovative and new ideas. Uh, we want you to have the sense that it's safe uh, to do that, and not to sit in the back of the room or around the, the uh, uh, outside the, the main table in a seminar room. And, and sit there and not say anything. So uh, as we develop this plan, and you got good ideas, let the leadership know. So thank you very much, and I look forward to the uh, conference. Don't be, don't be scared. It's getting bigger by time, but it's getting cheaper over time. So we're not spending a lot of money on this. But so, so maybe in the future, we'll go another way. We'll get it smaller and smaller. Okay, so thank, thank you very much, you. much uh, for participating. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.